theorists continue to show that dark matter could well be there and just be so weakly so interacting weakly. that we haven't yet built a big enough detector to see it. People a mysterious substance, dark matter, makes up around 85% of the universe's matter. But here's the twist, it's completely invisible. Scientists have long debated its nature, and a new theory called self-interacting dark matter is changing everything. SIDM posits that dark matter particles exhibit a form of interaction beyond just gravity, potentially engaging in unseen collisions and exchanging momentum within the cosmic dance. Could this be the key to unlocking the universe's greatest secrets? In this video, we will explore the world of SIDM, investigating its potential to rewrite the cosmic rulebook. Join us as we delve into the dark matter dance. Gazing at the night sky, we see a fraction of the universe's story. Astronomers estimate a staggering 85% of the cosmos is invisible dark matter, shaping its structure through gravity yet unseen. The prevailing cold dark matter, CDM, model depicts dark matter as weakly interacting, ghost-like particles. However, a recent study by Dr. Ricardo Valdini challenges this view. He proposes self-interacting dark matter, SIDM, where these particles collide, hinting at a more dynamic dark matter universe. To investigate SIDM, Dr. Valdini employed powerful computer simulations to analyze the massive galaxy cluster El Gordo, which translates to the fat one in Spanish. It's a recent merger acting as a cosmic crime scene for studying dark matter's behavior. These simulations revealed something strange. Instead of being tightly bound, the core of the dark matter in the cluster seemed scattered, which contradicts CDM's predictions of a tightly bound structure after a collision. This is exactly what SIDM predicts. It explains that during the merger, dark matter particles interactions would cause the cluster's heart centroids to scatter, perfectly aligning with the observed separation in El Gordo. The implications of SIDM extend far beyond the captivating image of a cosmic party. If dark matter particles can interact with each other, it forces us to reconsider our understanding of the universe's evolution on a grand scale. For example, galaxies, the building blocks of the universe, are heavily influenced by dark matter. SIDM could potentially explain the observed distribution of dark matter within galaxies, resolving long-standing puzzles like the core cusp problem. Currently, cosmologists are debating the two leading theories for dark matter, cold dark matter and self-interacting dark matter. Let's delve into the strengths and weaknesses of each theory to see which best explains how dark matter shapes cosmic structures. For decades, CDM has been the go-to theory for explaining the formation of giant cosmic structures like galaxy clusters. This theory, based on weakly interacting particles, explains how these massive structures slowly grow over time. Think of it like building a sandcastle on a grand scale. Picture individual grains of sand as dark matter particles that gradually accumulate under gravity's influence, forming the intricate castle walls, which are the galaxy clusters. CDM excels at explaining this large-scale cosmic architecture, where gravity acts as the main sculptor, shaping the grand structures we observe today. However, CDM falls short when explaining smaller structures like dwarf galaxies and the cores of massive galaxies. These often seem to contain more dark matter than CDM predicts, leading to problems like the cusp problem and the core problem. Picture it as the sandcastle lacking the proper internal support, causing its smaller towers and intricate details to crumble under closer inspection. For instance, in dwarf galaxies, the observed amount of dark matter appears significantly higher than what CDM predicts based on the surrounding mass. This discrepancy suggests that CDM might not be the whole story, especially for smaller scale structures. This is where SIDM steps up to the challenge. By introducing the concept of self-interactions among dark matter particles, SIDM offers a potential solution to the shortcomings of CDM. Collisions between dark matter particles within galaxies could transfer energy and momentum, leading to a more spread out distribution of dark matter. Picture it as strengthening the sandcastle by adding stabilizing elements like small rocks within the structure. This additional support system could help explain the observed properties of smaller scale structures in the cosmos. So, to recap, CDM posits collisionless particles, while SIDM champions the idea of collisional particles. CDM excels at explaining large-scale structures,
while SIDM offers a potential solution to the inconsistencies observed in smaller scale phenomena. To understand dark matter, including our observations of the El Gordo galaxy cluster, we utilize various observational techniques. These methods reveal the unseen mass that influences cosmic structures and behaviors, helping to refine our models and theories. One of the most compelling ways to study dark matter is through gravitational lensing, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Massive objects, like galaxy clusters, warp the fabric of space-time, bending the light from objects behind them. This effect creates distorted, magnified, or even multiple images of background galaxies, providing a natural telescope for observing dark matter's influence. Gravitational lensing also allows scientists to map the distribution of dark matter in galaxy clusters, offering critical insights into its properties. In the case of El Gordo, lensing revealed the unusual separation between dark matter and ordinary matter, suggesting interactions consistent with the SIDM model. Another powerful method to study dark matter is by analyzing galaxy rotation curves. In a typical spiral galaxy, stars and gas orbit the galactic center. According to Newtonian physics, objects further from the center should orbit more slowly. However, observations show that the outer regions of galaxies rotate faster than expected, implying the presence of unseen mass, dark matter. These rotation curves provide direct evidence for dark matter and help determine its distribution within galaxies. The SIDM model suggests that dark matter interactions could affect these curves, potentially smoothing out the distribution of dark matter and alleviating discrepancies seen with the CDM model. The large-scale structure of the universe, comprising vast networks of galaxies and galaxy clusters, offers another avenue for studying dark matter. These structures are shaped by the gravitational pull of dark matter, which acts as the scaffolding for galaxy formation. By mapping the distribution and behavior of galaxies within these structures, researchers can infer the properties of dark matter. The SIDM model predicts different clustering behaviors compared to CDM, particularly in the density and shape of dark matter halos. Observing these large-scale patterns help scientists compare theoretical predictions with actual observations, providing crucial tests for competing dark matter models. The quest to understand dark matter is far from over, and future advancements in technology and methodology promise to shed more light on this enigmatic substance. Next-generation telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, will provide unprecedented observational power, allowing astronomers to study dark matter with greater precision. These instruments will enable detailed observations of distant galaxies and galaxy clusters, revealing the distribution and behavior of dark matter on various scales. Moreover, experiments designed to detect dark matter particles directly, such as those conducted deep underground or in space, will complement astronomical observations. These experiments aim to capture elusive dark matter interactions, providing direct evidence for or against the SIDM model. In conclusion, we have explored the fascinating world of self-interacting dark matter and its potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. By examining the methods used to study dark matter, from gravitational lensing and galaxy rotation curves to large-scale structure mapping, we see how these techniques contribute to our knowledge. As technology advances and new discoveries are made, we move closer to unraveling the mysteries of dark matter, offering exciting prospects for the future of cosmology. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the mysteries of dark matter and the groundbreaking SIDM model. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating insights into the world of astronomy and beyond. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.